What's up everyone, Jay's Two Cents here, and I've got two computers I've gotta build because we've got PDX Land coming up in November, and if you guys are going, make sure you guys come and say hi. Uh, but Fractal Design is sponsoring this trip. We're doing a road trip. It's gonna be a lot of fun heading up there. So Fractal Josh, Nick, and myself are gonna be spending two days in a car each way. That's gonna be crazy. But anyway, I, I digress. I got two systems to build here, and I thought, you know what? We can have some fun with this. So there's a certain somebody visiting right now, and I want you to say hi. Hi. So I had a good idea. I said, why don't we have a build off? Right, because I've got two nearly identical systems I've got to build. So we were always talking junk back and forth about who's better at this and that. And I figured, let's build a computer and see who can do it faster. But then I thought, you know what? That's just boring. I do it all the time. I'm going to beat you in speed. Yeah, it's right? been like six years since I built one. Uh, but then I thought, let's do some bonus factors, right? So there's going to be cleanliness, yep. neatness of wires and stuff, because anyone can just shoehorn parts in the case and call it done. That was my and, original and, plan. And beat the timer. So there's yep. the timer factor. And whoever gets the BIOS first wins. Um, then there's going to be the neatness factor. But then we thought, just like on the cooking shows, we need one bonus item. And considering on the Threadripper build, we learned that the uh, li the RGB lighting and the ricer aisle, we're calling it at AutoZone, actually works with these RGB headers on these motherboards. So we each get, we're gonna go to AutoZone right now. We're gonna be picking one lighting item. Yes. From, or, or item, period, to spice up our system and make it our own from the lighting section. And that's gonna be what we're calling our flare item, our pieces of flare. The flare. And so, yeah, I'm building Josh's computer. He's building Nick's. I'm bringing Skunk Works. So if these turn out to be atrocities, I don't have to look at it. But uh, yeah, so you know where we gotta go now? AutoZone. Let's go. <laughs> Take the case and just vinyl wrap it in wood. That'd be awesome. Well, let's find, let's find the naked. There, there, there's a chrome naked lady to be found here. <laughs> Put some chrome fake vents on the side of it for cooling. <laughs> well, I'm going with the trim lighting. Oh, oh wow. It's so fancy. Tell me this, is the top of the case flat, Jay? Is it across the top? <laughs> a fake air intake on the top, because cooling, right? So, because we need to add extra air cooling to Nick's build so that it can survive PDX land. It gets hot PDX land, so I think we're gonna give him a little bit of extra cooling. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was gonna grab these. I, I think this is really gonna perk up that case, because I think, I, yeah, you're gonna like that, Nick? Yeah. Should America. Get, you might get overboard with this. Oh, he's looking for some gauges. You gonna put a tack on your computer there, Jay? The, oh, he's going for a vault gauge? <laughs> vault gauge. Oh, yeah. you son of a bitch. I didn't even think about that. That's gonna work. <laughs> it's 12 volts. Oh, man, that's gonna be functional. <laughs> I really did. I'm not doing that. I'm not. <laughs> uh, it's all right. If, if smoke starts, I just turn, I unplug it. That's what I do. When we have an extinguisher. Okay, good. See, I'm more or less thinking like disco party. I'm thinking party. Yeah. Like a party in there, not automotive. Like the Volt thing's cool, but I just snagged it because he was talking about car stuff. And I was like, what could I like snatch from the whole car idea? And the voltage meter popped up. I like how our like one item of flare turned in. These computers aren't going to look even remotely the same now. <laughs> <laughs> like not even. They're going to be very individualized. I yeah. do need light though. I need to get away from down here. I need light. We had 50 bucks to spend. That's what we agreed upon. And here's what I got. Jerry, Jerry's got the bag there. Yep. So, <laughs> I, I can't wait to see the way yours turns out. I feel like you're gonna win just because of how, just like, how ghetto it is. Yeah. All right, so I got a volt, a volt gauge. That was a good call. I, I completely support that I decision. Just, I mean, so Josh is a car guy. So I was like, I gotta put a voltmeter in there, right? Um, I, and then they, I only got two items. The other item I got was the 72 inch fiber optic lighting string. So it's 72 inches long, that's like what, six feet? No, like six. My pants. Yeah, it's like six feet. Yeah. And so it means I could actually wrap it around the internal several times. I'm just concerned about how bright it's gonna be. But the graphics cards we have also have RGB lighting on them. So. I think that was a good call. I think that's gonna look good. And then for me, because I'm working on Nick's computer, I wanted to make sure that I showed performance without actually having performance, since he always has <laughs> slow cars that look like they're fast. So I decided to get him a fake hood scoop. I think that's gonna add some horsepower. We also got him some girls here, because I don't think I've ever seen Nick with a girl before, so I figured I'd get him his first little date here. And then we got 36 inches yeah, of red LEDs. Twins. Oh, ooh, twins, naughty and nice. Okay, so let's run down the parts here, because everything here is pretty much identical, with the exception of the CPU and the memory. We'll talk about that in a sec. But 7900X on Josh's system, because, you know, he's sponsoring this, so he gets the 10 core, 20 thread. Nick gets a 7820X, um, eight cores, 16 threads, whatever. No, it's fine. We also, sorry, Nick, you're down two cores. I mean, it could have been AMD, bro. It's cool. <laughs> 
Uh, Josh is getting RGB Corsair memory here, which is gonna tie into sort of my lighting theme, so that's why we went with RGB on this guy. Nick's actually running the Corsair Torque, which is a special edition memory. You'll see that when Jerry does his build. The box is pretty. Of course, we've got Fractal Design sponsoring this. Both systems are getting a new Celsius S24. Uh, two different cases here, though. We're going with the Meshify C for Fractal Josh's build, and Nick is getting the uh, Focus G. EVGA stepped up with some parts for us here. So we've got X299 micros that are gonna be used in both of these systems, or micro ATX motherboards that fit in here. We've also got, uh, actually I need to open that. I can't open that, because that's all part of the process. They're sealed. Oh, it's, so. it's, it's okay, you can open mine. It, you probably would need the help. I'll do that. Two GTX 1080 Ti SCs. So I'm gonna leave that in the package. But anyway, you'll see that when we build. Two 1080 Ti, so one for each system. And then each system also has EVGA 750 watt power supplies. So you know you know how this works. Kind of, right? yeah. We're gonna get kind of set up here. We're gonna say go, and then whoever gets to buy this first wins the time element. Cool. But we've also got the neatness and the flare factor, so. I, I'm going flare factor, I think is the most important thing here. Absolutely. Back in box. Put this back, back I don't box. trust you not to cheat. Nick, you are gonna love your computer, bro. You're gonna love it. You're ready. Ready. All right, three, two, one, go. Ha ha! I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. This case is, this is build's already done. This is just a formality. That is a lightweight case. I'm impressed. Okay, as you can see, Jay's strategy so far is to unbox everything first. So, also too, we're not doing pre-boot testing on this equipment, so we have to hope it works, right? Some tells me if mine doesn't boot up, though, Jay's just gonna jump to the conclusion that I don't know what I'm doing and I fried something. <laughs> Take a bet. Wow, the screws are already installed on the standoffs. How fancy is that for putting together something quick? I'd like to point out that my CPU is already installed. Oh, we got sticker residue that got stuck on here. You know, a lot of people have the false assumption that I'm some kind of a super builder, like I'm fast. I've never had that assumption ever. The audience has that. <laughs> but anyone that's ever built with me will tell you that I tend to hyper-focus on things that are not important, right? Like, the, the neatness of my wires and Right, I could totally see that. Oh, and to be clear, we are not to boot these computers until they are in their final form, completely put together. Especially since we have the style factor. Yep. So you guys ready to see this motherboard? Bam! Right? I'm like, Jay, I didn't get anything stuck in anything, because I'm a pro, guys. Hey, Jay, what is the M2 thermal pad? <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately for you, that's not going to apply today. Good. <laughs> All right, now the trick with installing CPUs is you just drop them in the slot until they feel like they're going to go in OK, and line up the little thingamajiggers. Um, you can't say thingamajiggers. I can't? No, you can't. Oh, there we go. Wait, is that? This can only go in one way, right? Okay, never mind. Don't help me. Don't. Help. Oh, there we go. I see the. I see the king. We're good. Ha ha. Like a boss. All right. So we got memory in here. Our motherboard is ready to go. We just got to drop this now into the case. I have lost my memory. Oh, there it is. I've actually never built in one of these cases. In any of the new like small form factor. Well, this is the tempered glass one. Okay. Now I got to be a little bit extra careful. Is yours glass or plastic side panel? Oh, uh, plastic. Yeah, this is glass. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Saved it. Hey guys, yeah, we're good. We're good. No problem. It's also really durable. Are Dude, really? check out these memory sticks. Dude, the torque this. are awesome, these, man. These dominators. Nick specifically requested those. They're fancy. I, I kind of feel like a case like this, even though it will support standard ATX, like I feel like micro ATX is the way to go. I feel like I'm losing already, but that's okay. Oh, crap. Ah. We're good. We're good. Because I'm moving the exhaust fan to the front, so I have two intakes and two exhausts is what I'm doing. Because cooling is of the utmost importance when you're using high-end hardware like we got here. How are you doing over there? I'm doing great, man. My stuff's almost ready to post. Are you booting it? Just about. I'm almost there, buddy. I love how we take two completely separate tabs on the assembly. Yeah. So you can't really gauge like who's winning because you could be doing the super simple stuff first and I could be doing the more complex stuff first. Correct. You know what I mean? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
I gotta move. Okay. I could just ignore these standoffs being in the wrong position, but I'm not gonna, because Jay will tease me later if I screw this up. And Jay and I have an identical set of tools. We do. Well, they're not identical, but they're, they're the same exact tool. Yeah. Because I want to be like, no, that was your Husky, and that was your Milwaukee. Okay, we've only got one CPU power header on this, so I'm gonna worry about one CPU power plug. Now, although this might cost me a little bit extra time, I'm doing it the right way, so I'm running two PCI Express power cables instead of one because we happen to know through a video, which you guys can go and check out at another time, that there was a slight performance difference when we did it that way. Making sure I put them in the right place, Nick. All right, so I have now got all my main wiring in the system. I'm main wiring. So this has forced me to do things a little bit in a different order than I, than I would have traditionally, but that's okay, right. because now I don't have to worry about the plugs because I've got them all in there, including my spares that I need for the lighting for our, our flare factor. Are you having a mechanical issue there? Yes, I am. Are, you, are on the standoffs that you're trying to remove? No, the ones that I'm trying to put in, the powder coats and the holes that didn't have standoffs pre-installed. So I'm having to strip it, but this is all the grip I can get on it, unless you got a socket that'll fit on it. Okay, I shouldn't be helping you here. But yeah, no. Look, look at this. The case normally will include a little adapter thingy that you can use. I did not see one. Where's the case hardware? Right? Do you have one? Did you dump it all out? Yeah, it's right, right there. Right there. Oh, you got it? Right there. This guy? Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't be helping you, but hey, these, you know, hey, these didn't a, exist back in my day. I'm a good guy. Okay? You're a good guy. Okay, we'll give you, we'll give we'll give Jay a we'll give him a minute for that. Good guy. Yeah, that, that would have saved me like five minutes. Thank you, Jay. I Shit. did not even notice that this tool existed. <laughs> well, damn it. It's all right. It's okay. I feel good. I feel all right. I don't. I'm already sweating bullets from stress because I can already tell. Oh god. Now I just dropped my first thing. This is not good. This is not going well. Things are not good. This is not well. Everything's going entirely to plan. Everything's not going to plan at all. Yeah, that's another video coming up. A build off with a Nick. He swears that he could build a computer better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Even Jerry's laughing. Episode two. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't built a computer in forever. I mean, my plan was just to all along make you super stressed and. Jay, he's like potato. He is, he's done this before. I'm like, I'm over here just like sweating through everything. Look at me. I'm like, I'm dying here. I never tightened down the actual standoff. And there's one standoff missing. Uh oh. It's okay, I got that though. Uh oh! Uh oh! This competition stress is affecting both of you now. No, that's a stupid mistake I would have made anyway. I don't know. You've seen me make some pretty bad ones. Yo, he needs external cooling. I need external, external cooling, cooling. yeah. But Let's that's all, that's his own handicap. If he if it's not a, you know, I mean, ah, whatever. I'll just keep doing it. <laughs> Jay, we've established that I am the handicap. Okay. Hey, hold up your little I/O shield cover thing. Mine? Yeah, this I thing. So. They're the same, right? Does it get mixed up? Never mind. We're good. I have no idea where this I/O shield goes. <laughs> Let me look at the most important thing. <laughs> Let's just say I figured out something that. Are you crapping me? <laughs> you just figured it out, didn't no! you? No! It has to be bolted from the underside? <laughs> this is the first time they've ever done this. That's crap! Of all the ones I've ever done. Oh man. This EVGA, why? Why have you done this? They bamboozled you. Yeah, it would have been a bad booze. This is this is very, very poor indeed. Every single person that has ever built this is gonna encounter this problem, I guarantee it. Jerry? Yes. Don't let me down. I'm trying not to. Thanks. So I can get the other one on, no problem. This is where my big fat hands get in the way. See, my weakness in all of this is the unboxing part. I think everyone kind of expects that. So we got the S24, which is perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount this one on the ceiling. You know, it would technically fit in the front. Man, that's the thing I love most about the Celsius coolers though, is it has the header right there. So you plug your fans into the radiator. You don't have to worry about trying to find extra headers and crap. And then you have one PWM header to install for your fans and your pump. So I just realized that they use the bigger screws now to hold the motherboard down, not the old screws. So I learned that You didn't realize anything, I told you. Okay, Jay did tell me. <laughs> I was like, Jay, why are all the standoffs stripped out? But to my credit, Jake, can you please confirm that yes, they did used to use oh, the Oh yeah, they used ones. to be the super tiny, like the same ones yeah. used in SSDs. I'm using the right screws now. <laughs> and here I am already worrying about wiring. Look at the way I'm wire routing all of this, right? I mean, this is my handicap. This is, I can't help myself. 
You are a handicap. Hey. That's insensitive. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. I approve. Hmm. I am one screw light. Let's listen for the, the shake factor. Jay, have you ever used the shake technique to locate a screw? I did it earlier. <laughs> now here, if we didn't have enough problems, I have never used an all-in-one cooling system before. Well, I picked the e This is, look. This, is this like the easy, easy, the easy Celsius one? The Celsius series is probably like among the easiest to do because it has that built-in fan header on it. Got it. Ooh, that's fancy. Yeah, I wonder if this would double as an oil cooler, a ghetto oil cooler in your car. Good. There we go, there we go. Okay. All right, so there's only one place this looks like it can be mounted in the top of the case. Can, can it? Yeah. Like right here? Okay. Where are you putting yours? Huh? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are things not voting well? Uh, no, we're, we're, we're fine. We're fine. No, we're fine. <laughs> yes. Okay, we got this. Now is where my speed has to kick in. Nick was like, hey, it's cool, cool as a cucumber. Come see, whatever. Now, I caught a potato, but close enough. Some might mistake your, your speed as a power drill, removing screws. Shit, did Jay just let me walk into the same exact problem he's encountering? God damn it! Come on, baby. Okay, um, yeah, I'm guessing that's the same problem you're encountering? <laughs> <laughs> no taking off that shield. You told me that shield has to stay on. Oh, you're moving to the front. You little son of a bitch! <laughs> You noticed the same thing I just noticed. <laughs> I mean, it's, God they can't fit the RAM there. The they top, will not we have fit tall there. RAM. So. so what I started to say was I actually had low profile RAM. I could have just gotten grabbed off the shelf, but that would have been cheating, right? Nick, you're gonna be proud of this computer. You know what? This what? is only happening like this because we're in a hurry. Yeah. That, okay, so we're gonna- Does it remove from the bottom? Look from the bottom, see if there's screws holding the drive cage in, like under the case. There is, I can take the drive cage out, but the take problem it, is it, it interferes, out. even if when it's in, look. No, like, take the drive cage out. Oh, and just leave it out? Yeah, we're not using a oh. hard drive, hard drive. Okay. So I'm actually having to flip my fans around because I had them set to exhaust, and once I put them on the front, now they were also still exhaust. So we would have been pulling air out of the front of the case. And I'm doing this without removing the radiator from the front. Because although I was like, look at me, I'm using all the screws because I'm not cheating, and I've now like, I'm like, well, there's eight screws to remove the fans, or there's 412, what? Well, I guess eight screws to remove the radiator, whatever. I feel like this is more like how to screw a screwdriver tutorial. <laughs> it is a little bit. See, here we go again where I'm like, that wire sticks out and I don't like that. So I'm gonna remove these screws. This is where you're gonna get hung up. This is, this is where I've always told hung people. Up. This is my only chance to catch up. This is where I've always told people like, look, I am not a speed builder. I am an ADD builder. OCD about a certain thing. OCD, I have ADD. <laughs> so I'm the ADD builder here, bro. So here I am tucking wires and stuff. But there is a style build or an aspect to this. I have one more concern, but I think we're okay. What's that? Oh, I'm talking to the camera, not you. Oh, sorry, my bad. I'm a little bit concerned about the length of the graphics card now with the rad in the front. I right, do. For different stuff. So, dude, okay, Intel. These, these SC cards are pretty badass. Okay. All right. That fit, man? It's like so close. There ain't no Kyle on a boat situation. I ain't taking the fan out. <laughs> it actually fits. Wow. Because I thought about that beforehand when I ordered the parts. Sorry, Kyle. It's also why I have a motherboard that fits too. I want to shove all these wires out of the way. So what I'm doing here, I'm taking out my drive cage too. Because these are going to be pure SSD systems for this LAN party. And we don't need actual hard drive storage. How do you get it out? Uh -oh. Pro Builder's getting no, stuck. I think I have to take the power supply off. Pro Builder gets stuck. Pro Builder figured that out in 0.2 seconds. Oh, there. There go. So I put some kinks in that so it twists out of the way so that I can run my little strip lighting that I bought around the case without that interfering. Got new thermal paste on there because I just had to break the seal on the factory one. So we're good there. And my cooler is back installed. 
I feel like this needs like three judges at a table, just like Iron Chef. Oh, know? I don't know. I think he's taking the easy route. I feel like he should have gone for a little more skill. Something that takes a little more time, but says, I mean to win this. All oh, builders, one hour remaining. You ready? We're doing it. Mm. All right. <laughs> I have to give that some, I have to give that props. This is actually awesome because I thought at first this was not gonna be functional. And now it's actually functional. So now I feel a little bit better about putting this really, really gaudy thing on here. This is espionage, this is against all the rules. All right, so I am gonna move, I'm gonna put some exhaust fans on the top, otherwise you guys are all gonna mock me for years and years I just and think years. it's good, it's good practice. It is. Standard practice. No, yeah. it is, and the thing is I just didn't want to agree with you. <laughs> fair enough. I do, I do actually enough. agree with you, I just didn't want to agree with you. I said fair enough, fair I, enough. I'm not offended. All right, you now have some exhaust fans, sir. Uh, are these torque to spec? They are torque to spec. We're getting all the exhausts here, Nick. Oh man, my hand is shaking. <laughs> I forgot, Nick, we're on a serious channel. We gotta, we gotta behave ourselves. Balls. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> that does look kinda cool. <laughs> I hate that I even said that. <laughs> Makes and so and Jay, functional. Huh. It's it actually functional. gonna pull hot gonna air pull, at you. And no, it's you gonna pull air in. No, they're exhausting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's blow the hot air. Awesome. Yeah. So, right, so, at the, so, right at the user, I love it. So now now it's a heater for the user on a cold night. I feel like this is gonna become like a thing now. People are gonna go about by like suddenly AutoZone is gonna be like, we've got a sudden burst of sales of hit scoops. All right, so I've got everything wired up just like Jay at this point. Everything you can see is perfectly organized on my desk. That's where Jay's at right now. Yeah, they're wired up just like mine. A little bit clean. GPU is going in after I figure out how I'm gonna wire up all of the. I think the gauge is gonna go like right here. All right. I just put the cable. So the gauge has got its own little bracket thing that I can just like two sided tape in there. A little volt gauge. Oh wait, maybe they didn't give me a little bracket. It showed a bracket on the box. Look. I guess that was a separate piece. Well shit. Now I don't. Now I gotta really come up with a creative way of putting this in there, don't I? I know you can't yeah, get over here, but here's what, I'm, right here's what I'm thinking. So I got a gap right there, right? So I'm thinking I can drill into the mesh pipe. And this just goes on like that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how fiber optic work, if you've ever wondered. So it just carries along the length of the plastic. How do it look? Do you like it up yet, or? See that? That's cool. Cool, There's not gonna be that much light, so this almost feels like a waste. I should have gone with the LEDs. I knew it. Hey Jerry, you wanna you wanna trade? You wanna trade? Nah. Doesn't matter which oh shit, they're LEDs so they're coming from that side. Oopsies. Okay, where's that adapter cable? Oh, let's see, can we steal the pins? Might have to steal some pans. Oh! What? Don't. Don't break it? Yep. Will that work directly? I would rather have, I would rather throw the competition than have you cut something that's going to be cut. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah that's it. All right. Oh, cool, perfect. Now I know why this will work. Does it, I don't even think it's going to show up, to know the truth. I don't think it's going to light up anything. Oh, you don't think it's going to be very bright? No. Yeah, I went by the picture and that was the first mistake I made. I fell for shady picture marketing because this is not, this is not going to have very much light at all. Stop helping him. What is? What are you doing? Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Hey, you're pinching a cable right here, so you might want to watch out. Oh, shut up! I ain't pinching shit. This I should have just gone with LEDs. But like before we go to PDX land, I feel like I need to redo the light in this. Oh my god. I just I just looked at the I just looked at that. What the hell? What the? Did it better than it was. JDM, bro. JDM life. Oh. It seems like competitor Jason here is uh, wiring up a Dremel. I think he's going for the Froyo now. That's good. Well, I chose the route that has way more work. That so was what this contest be. was about. It was about who could go commute the fastest to make it work. Uh, well, that's why. And style points. That, and was before we so decided, still... that was before we decided to do modding in any way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit, shit's getting real. Plug in. I have no power. Did you get him plugged with power to do the Dremel? Oh, is that it? <laughs> Are you done with the Dremel now? I don't know yet. Okay, here we go. 
There she is, glowing. Okay, let's see if she posts. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, girl. Come on, okay, we got some additional lighting. Okay, come on, V-Sync. Uh-oh. I think Jay might got me. This might need some troubleshooting. Oh! Beep, 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 beep. Which code? Keyboard just lit up. USB just kicked. Give us some time. Oh, do they sometimes beep even though they'll post? Oh, no, that was a postcode. That was a postcode. Yep. Dude, I haven't seen a CMOS check somewhere in a long time. That's, that's old school. Bingo. That's a good beat. Bam! Yeah! yeah. Although the case side isn't still on, Jay. I haven't even started my bolt meter like wire up. That's actually gonna be pretty badass. I don't know if we can call that a victory though, based on just the way it looks. Oh, shut up! I'm just saying. This is beautiful. We're gonna look. Ow. The fan got me. I still want to see it finished though with the, the yeah, meter. I don't though. think that that fiber optic cable is going to work very good. Well, drop the fiber. Just go for the meter. I just want to see the meter work. I'm still not done. I still have to wire this up. I'm going to be like an hour behind him at least. That's okay. And I don't even know where the back part of my gauge went now. The part, the cup that holds it on. Oh, here it is right here. So I was using entirely the wrong tools for this, you know, right? So you got to use the right tool for the job. But once I repaint, once I paint that and fix it, I mean, the hole's got a little gap right there, whatever. I couldn't do it. I mean, I was like, I need to do this simple and just make it easy, and I couldn't do it. I'm surprised the LEDs actually worked as well as they did, though. I, I, when I stuck them in there, uh, literally, it was just a hell mary. Like, they're not, they're, they're literally just running the border of the case side, and they look pretty good. But I think that intake, well, actually, it's an exhaust. We can't call it an intake. We have to call it an exhaust on top. It's actually really cool. It's ghetto, but it's cool. I think I think it's PDX land ghetto, though. I think this is going to work well there. Technically, I'd still be fumbling around the motherboard trying to figure out how to get the shield on it if you guys didn't tell me. So, fair enough. Yeah. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Will I first boot at least? Oh, that was cool. Hmm? The voltmeter goes. Mm -hmm. It like slowly goes up to 12 volts. It's really cool. So I'll be honest. There you go. I no. Want to do that. There it is. <laughs> the voltmeter is kind of neat. Once I paint it black and fix it. It's mm -hmm. really neat. That actually needs to be like a staple in the future build. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go. The builds are done. Jerry, you won the speed competition. Speed only. All right, but there's three factors to this. There is. So there is, of course, the uh, speed which you won. Hands down, because I, I mean, my wiring, look at this. I cannot not. Your, your OCD screwed you up. I cannot one. not do this. <laughs> and I've always told Nick this. Nick has always been like, oh man, you, you, you would smoke me in a bit speed build. I was like, no, I wouldn't. I cannot let go of this kind of stuff. I really like that this case has a shroud on the bottom though. Like the yeah. cover stuff, that's yeah, cool. It helps it look so much neater. Yep. Uh, okay, but the other factor yes. is the cleanliness. The cleanliness, which I'm even gonna say, I think you got me hands down. I don't even think we need to ask the audience on this. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, it's to you. Cleanliness is to you. Yeah. yeah. Flare has to go to the audience. Yes. Okay. The flare, we're gonna put a straw poll in here and you guys vote. And I'm very disappointed because I wanted to use this fiber optic light and it's cool and all, right? You can even see like some of the light coming through there. The problem is it doesn't, it's not intense enough. And I, did, and I didn't go with LEDs because I didn't want to go with like the normal route. Yeah, right. and I already grabbed LEDs. I already went for the cheap grab. I mean, but look, I mean, the case is lit. It's exactly yep. what you would expect. Um, I want to say you kind of copped out on the special like bonus feature because you just went with a couple of stick-on items and a plug-in item. One that you were getting ready to cut and rewire that I stopped you because I didn't want you to cut up a perfectly good lighting system that we could use, sort of. I mean, some of the LEDs burned out already, but. Um, I expected the excuses, Jay. I fully expected because the Because you didn't know they plug into the into the motherboard. I didn't. Technically, he did tell Otherwise, me. he'd still be over there trying to wire it up, figure out which channel's red, which channel's Well, no, no, I knew blue. exactly what I was going to do, but it was unnecessary. I was going to yeah. actually cut them and wire a hard wire. But it so the only thing out. I really have to show for the custom factor, other than the 25 bucks that just went poof, because <laughs> the, the, the wiring thing, wherever it went, for the lighting also is a male yeah. plug when... Yep. The, all the other ones I bought so far have been female. Yours worked, right? Because yep. yeah. I told you it would. But I, I made the bolt meter. And yeah, I scratched the case right there, but I'm gonna touch up this paint and I'm gonna clean this up before LAN, uh, PDX land so it looks good. But you can see that I have a functional volt meter. Functional volt meter. That is really cool and unique, very unique. Yeah. So we're, we're gonna let the audience vote. Who do you guys think won the style factor? Because that's what it comes down to. Yep, I got cleanliness, I, you got speed. I got an exhaust though. 
that's supposed to be an intake. But yeah, it's but, it's, but it's blowing the heat back at you. It is. It's. A, I, I was. <laughs> I designed this for for cold women. This is a cold woman computer. I well, it is, for, it is for Nick, so we're good. All right, guys, you guys vote down in the description box. Go to the straw poll. Who do you think won the the, uh, the style competition? Anyway, it was fun. Glad you guys are down. He's down here. We're actually talking about bringing Tech Talk back to you. That's a conversation for a for a future video. But yep. uh, yeah, I think I think it's time we do something again with that. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching. Guys, subscribe to Barnacles here. Barnacles Nerdgasm on YouTube. Also, he's got Twitch Morning Coffee with Barnacles. Make sure you guys check that out. Woot. Anything you wanna say before we go? No, man, I had a blast. This is fun. All right. Bam. Copping out always Who's works next? Who, who, who's, you guys also do, who do you think I should challenge next? Maybe this will become a thing. I don't know. Hey. You? Hey. That's easy. <laughs> Episode two, come and say <laughs> We still don't know who won this because the audience has to vote. All right, guys, we'll see you, we'll see you soon. So, you know this, sir, that all X platforms have four channels of memory. So he did not put in all the memory because he did not realize that there is another oh, level another. of RAM to that. We also RAM. are wondering why one of the RAM sticks isn't yeah, lighting up. Yeah, that's weird because it is seated and it is showing. Why? Okay, sir, you, you need to shut down your system you and populate all four of them. I will put my two additional RAM sticks in there. Okay, to be fair, the, the time difference wouldn't have made a difference. <laughs> but I just wanted to point out that he didn't even put it. He's running dual channel X299. What a noob. To be fair, I don't even know what X299 really is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I know it's new. <laughs> All right. All right, let me put some RAM in here. Noob.